Hi guys, welcome back to Kimchi and Tostones. I am Wendy. And I'm Susan. Welcome back. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Thank you for all your support so far. Absolutely. We're so grateful every single time. So, yes. Today, yes. we're going to do something that I always wanted to do. Yeah, like I have no idea what we're doing today. <laughs> so, uh... I've seen this a lot on TikTok. Okay. And I'm sure people do it on podcasts. Um, the uh, Aida, right? Am I the asshole posts? I was like, who's Aida? <laughs> <laughs> so am I the asshole? So I see people do it and they pick really good ones. Um, I wanted to do, I went on a, on a dive in Reddit just to see if I found, because usually people find them there. Uh-huh. Um, but I didn't have a lot of time because I was doing this during my free time at work. <laughs> I was like printing copies. I'm like, maybe this one, maybe this one. Uh-huh. Um, so if they're not as entertaining, guys, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time, but I have two. Okay. And uh, we're just going to read and we're going to discuss. Okay. And we'll see what comes up. All right. We're going to have fun. Uh- all right. So, am I the ass? I am the asshole. <laughs> so I am Ida. No, you're not Ida. Oh, you're okay. You're not the asshole. Okay. You're fine. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not Ida. I, I'm Iba. What is that? I, I the book. <laughs> I am, I am the bitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I the bitch. Okay, okay. A new acronym. So I am can, the badass. Can, I don't know. Maybe you can start one in Reddit yeah, and then we'll maybe. see what happens. Hashtag I the bitch. So I usually people read these things off their fucking phone, but mm-hmm. I'm not doing it because we're doing old school. Ooh, so here's a little paper. Old. Yeah, I know because like normally, like I love how paper like the sound of paper opening. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm a geek. okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you can tell that we're teachers. Yes. <laughs> paper and pen. <laughs> you get excited yeah, about you can tell supplies. that we're old <laughs> like, oh my god a cute highlighter yeah. oh my god seriously like it's you take me through like stationery and like yes. pens like i will be there for 30 minutes plus yes. like just looking at it absolutely yeah and if i'm not there that means that they're really ugly yeah yeah people's like oh i need a pen and they go get a pen i'm like i need a pen i'm like bold fine yeah. gel Ooh, yeah fancy look at the color now i know and then i'm there yeah. like if i was like choosing something that was like life or death yeah i know right <laughs> <laughs> it's like should i get it should i not should will i, I really it? use oh, it like though. oh yeah. that's mine oh my god what if i lose it right yeah. Ooh, oh, i like so. the colors <laughs> yes we're, we're that people yeah okay we are it's fine <laughs> um so we're gonna do one we're gonna start with the short one first okay um i read them kind of like skim through i didn't like really like deep dive in it because i also wanted to have like a genuine reaction but it's okay. hard to do because i had to pick them right right okay so i'm gonna read it from the paper all right okay. don't judge my reading because i get nervous <laughs> all right so this says am i the asshole mm-hmm. right for asking my husband to take me to the hospital right away no i was no. not the asshole if but- you need to go to the hospital then yeah he should be taking you absolutely yeah. um so, oh, wait, did I choose the wrong one? Oh, I chose the wrong one. Okay, pause. <laughs> I gotta go get it. Two hours later. All right. <laughs> Guys, so we're back. <laughs> yeah, we're back. We're back. Okay. All right, so sorry about that. Technical difficulties, but we're back. All right, so I got the right ones, but we're going to start with the shortest one. Uh-huh. So. All right. <clears throat> Am I the asshole for not wanting my girlfriend to use my phone? For not wanting? What do you have to hide? Mm. I don't know. That's us. Maybe. I mean, as a, as a girl, like, I don't think I would necessarily go through my boyfriend's phone. But, right. But, I mean, if you're, like, really, like, oh, right? Then what are you hiding? Mm. Yeah. Go on. But you would allow your uh her significant over just to like go through my phone yeah would you be comfortable with that i think it depends on the situation right huh. now probably not but <laughs> <laughs> so let's find out what the situation yeah, is we, let's see what the situation let's is judge yeah with more information yeah we need we need some yeah some information all right so it says i 28 male i'm dating vivi 26 female I have a newer phone while Vivi has an older model. It was never an issue as neither of us is obsessed with the whole phone thing. 
Vivi has a best friend, Aria, 24 female, who she always looks up to. They have been friends since they were toddlers, and Vivi has a weird obsession with Aria. Like, she would copy after Aria, buy the same clothes, do the same activities, just because Aria does so. In Vivi's eyes, Aria could never be wrong. It bothers me sometimes, but never to the point of making a scene about it. The issue... We went on a double date, me, Vivi, and Aria, and her boyfriend, Nate. Nate comes from another generation, and although he isn't obsessed with social media phones and stuff like that, he has the newest iPhone Pro Max. The whole time, Aria was using his phone as if it was hers, since the camera is, quote-unquote, better. She also has an older phone. She was filming stories on his phone, replying to messages. Vivi was watching this, and later that night, she asked me if we could share my phone the way Aria and Nate do. The problem is <laughs> I have my social media on my phone. I use it myself. I'm not uncomfortable with the idea of Vivi seeing my private DMs, but having her accounts, notifications, and other stuff on my phone will be bothersome and messy. Perhaps if I was a boomer who only used his phone to take pictures, sorry, boomers, <laughs> <laughs> make calls and post on Facebook. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. That's so correct, though. <laughs> That's such an age, an okay. age, ageism. Yeah. <laughs> it um. would be different. But I have an active social media presence, and I don't want my stuff to be mixed with VVs. Not to mention that I don't want to turn our relationship into some weird Aria Nate situation, right? Mm -hmm. The conflict. I told her no, and I explained why Vivi said that Arya's... And I explained why. It says, Vivi said that Arya's boyfriend is okay with that. I explained that I am not Arya's boyfriend. <laughs> She said that Arya said it's more convenient and shows the mutual trust. I said that I trust her. She can go through my phone at any given moment, but I don't want to have her social media accounts there. She backed off, but she was sulking and I heard her call Arya to complain about me. Now I'm wondering if she was unreasonable when she asked me to let her use my phone as if it was hers or if I was the asshole to her. After all, it's not really a massive thing. Definitely not worth worth fighting over in my book so i'm a visual learner what phone did vivi have so uh vivi is um his girlfriend yes the one who wrote. so what phone did she have she she just said that she has an older phone not the current phone that's just an older phone because they don't really buy bitch can upgrade <laughs> let me upgrade are you fucking serious here <laughs> Bitch can upgrade. For sure. Yeah. That's yeah. my thought. Like, right. So I don't think he's yeah. an asshole. I don't think he's an asshole. No. Like, especially in this day and age, mm -hmm. like everyone, or I don't want to say everyone because I do have friends who aren't on social media. Right. But even if like you're not physically on social media and like, like posting yourself, mm -hmm. I know people who have accounts just because they want to keep up or like keep in contact with friends. Yes. And that's like the way to do it nowadays. Yeah. But if like, if I have Instagram and you have Instagram and it's both on my account mm -hmm. and let's say like she's getting massive DMs. Right. I mean, you can turn it off technically. But why should I? But phone, why like, should I even do that? Like right. then you're gonna be like, hey, babe, can I get the phone? So I can like, check my notifications. No. What's the point of having two phones? <laughs> Just have one landline at home like we used to Ooh, in the 90s. Landline. Uh, you know. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I went there. I, I mean, at this yeah. point, just get a beeper. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, I don't think he's the asshole. I think that he has, I mean, if it was like he was like trying to keep the phone and like, I don't want her to read my messages or whatever. Yeah. But he was like, I don't care that you like, you could look at my phone whenever you want if you're, you know, want to look through. But I understand why you might not want to be navigating your social media and her social media and then always having to switch up yeah you know social media accounts log off of yours get i mean that's just so much work yeah and even though they have like like some of them you have where you can switch accounts yeah but, but then why and wrong one like one wrong button right what if you meant to post on yours but then like you post on you hers post it or, on hers right. or like or vice versa you know, yeah it's just yeah. not no yeah i don't know i think i think his girlfriend yeah. needs to stop trying to copy yeah friend. and if she just wants better photos just have him take your photo and send it to you yeah for yeah. sure um yes the algorithm is personal is what he means right so wait i want to rewind our, that our producer, edit that oh i was about to say our producer because that was in a smooth transition to. for us oh yeah. i was i was looking yeah i was like 
<laughs> I was like, our producer said that algorithm is yeah. Oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was yeah, like, our yeah. producer just said. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, So we're going to skip. Okay, so our producer was pitching in and he was like, algorithms are personal. And I agree. Oh, uh, yeah. Algorithms are personal. Right. Then um, I start getting half naked chicks on my Instagram. Yeah, I know, like that's the last thing. Because the thing is, if you have like, even though it's separate accounts, yeah. like if it's on the same phone, it's gonna read. I like, mean, your cookies, the other right? Don't they, don't they take like? I don't yeah, know how that they works, like. But... They like listen to what you're talking about, right. and like your ads come up accordingly. Right. Like, you know, and the last thing you need is your algorithm being fucked right. up. Like, I mean, yeah. I think this is more like a copy situation. I think it's. I yeah. think it's not so much of a trust issue. If there was a trust issue, then I would understand. Like, okay, that maybe he was being an asshole. Mm -hmm. But like, there's a lot. It seems like he's being as transparent as yeah. possible. It's just another thing to have to deal with, and it's not genuine that it was like her idea. It was like I saw my friend do it like why can't we do it and yeah that's like ilk. why that's are an ick you for me. like so i can understand where like friends can co copy each other up to a certain point yeah where, like you know oh like you know i'll be to my friend uh, or i'll see something that my friend has and i'll be like right. hey where'd you get that oh maybe i'll get it too like You're there like, are amazon yeah <laughs> <laughs> or you know wherever yeah. you get your stuff guys right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah, in some, a lot of the times you'll like buy the same thing because mm -hmm. it just makes sense right. or it, you really like it. Right. But then um, for you to copy something like that. Like, yeah, some like relationship mannerisms yeah. or like and stuff. And like, like how old is this other, like that other couple? I'm like wondering, like, I don't know. Like, how does that work? I mean, it works for them because he said something about like her boyfriend doesn't really use well he's a boomer social media as much right. and like so it doesn't bother him but the fact that like he she's even like she's probably on his phone all the time too so what's the like why am i like i'm thinking myself right listen my boyfriend said that to me i'd be like i'm paying for this phone like are you gonna you pay for it. my phone bills like yeah I mean, I mean that sounds a little uh, but you know i mean you you, you yeah. i think you would want him to pay for your phone bill. me yeah, I'd be like, no, get your own fucking <laughs> phone. Like, you can pay for my phone, but you're yeah. not using it. No. Yeah, like <laughs> half down or right. I'd be like, well, you know, my hours used to be six hours. Now it's like 12. So right. you're paying for the extra. <laughs> right, right, right. No, no. I mean, I think yeah. I think he's definitely not the asshole. I think I that don't think although so. this is yeah. not, I think, obviously a very serious like. Uh, where we have to fight about it for a long period of time. Yeah, I think she. If, I think Vivi needs to just be more understanding and more authentic in her relationship. I think relationship. she just needs to and get just herself like, a new phone. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. Like I, I don't know. Yeah. Like, but again, I think it, it's more of like copying. Um, because again, she did say something like she looks up to her friend and she has like oh, a yeah, weird that, obsession with her. That's like a weird toxic relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. there. So too. that's weird. Like, yeah. So so be authentic yeah. in your own relationship, Vivi, and just yeah. like you know, figure yourself get over out, it. girl. Like, what that's do you it. like? Not what Ari likes. I think I think Vivi is the <laughs> asshole here. I'm just saying. Yeah. I well, think I don't think fine. Vivi's an asshole here. I think she is. I think Vivi is immature. Like, Vivi is. Immature. 26 was, years old she needs to she's an up. immature 26 year old yeah. who needs to figure herself out yeah but that's no, what I, I think I think at this point she is the asshole yeah. because she's getting upset and then she's like calling her friend like eh, oh you, you know what yeah like shut up yeah you shut know what yourself. at the end her being like nah yeah I can yeah. see that yeah she needs to get over it yeah and she needs to move on yeah and if she really wants a phone that's uh you know the yeah. latest phone she could make her wear to T-Mobile Verizon and yeah. do a little switch up unless the 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 gentleman wants to buy her a new phone no she needs to get her own damn phone but i feel like even if he got her a new phone she'd be like no yeah, i want like, that babe like, it shows that we trust each other <laughs> 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 yeah i don't yeah. even like this like people who share yeah and i'm sorry i just i they share accounts with their boyfriends or girlfriends like they have one account for both of them oh i mean it depends no i should Mm -mm. I'm not gonna explain what I share, but okay, yeah. No, I just I don't. Sometimes I, I feel like scary. you. Should, no, I mean, I'm, but I think, I think social media yeah. is like sometimes such a personal thing. Yeah, and I know like if you're like older, you're like we don't want to deal with it, and we just want to like keep it to connect with family. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But I just find it weird when like young couples and stuff like that are like having like, oh, we're just gonna have one social media together. Like, oh why? yeah, no, that's that's Ew. weird. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think know. that's weird. Normally. I think when that happens, like one person does have social media presence and one doesn't. So yeah. it's like a, 
a couple thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I don't like that. Yeah. Mm. Like, again, yeah. algorithms are very specific. Yes. So then it's like, if I want to enjoy social media and, like, I get my stuff and then you're, like, getting my stuff and then I start getting your stuff, like, no. Yeah, no. Don't share it. Yeah, no, don't share. Mm-mm. In this case, is this case sharing is not caring, guys. Yeah, Just, not in that case. Not in that case. Not in that case. Yeah, yeah. All right. So. All right. We have another one. Scenario number two. Scenario number two. And this is going to be a little longer. So this is, like, I think, our last one. Okay. Um, so bear with me. I'm going to read it as fast as I can. People say I talk too fast. So I'm going to read it just slightly slow. Oh, yeah. Slower. Okay. Um, okay. So this one is, am I the asshole for calling off my wedding and telling my fiance to move back home with mommy? <gasps> what? <laughs> Wait, calling off the wedding... And telling my fiance to move back home with mommy. This is a girl or a guy? This is a woman who told her fiance to go back to mommy's house. Am I the asshole? I get, okay, I'm now I'm very intrigued as to what the situation is. <laughs> we need more information. Yeah. Is the mom dying? <laughs> uh, I don't think that's the concept in what she okay. said. She was like, again, am I the asshole for calling but off he my said, wedding? So mommy. Yes, and it was not to his mother. It was like to mommy. Mommy. He's a mama's boy. <gasps> Baby. Shut up. <laughs> my mom always said to me, she's like, I'd like you to get married, but the one thing is do not marry a mama boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm very intrigued. That's a little bit of an ick. Please go. Yes. Okay. So bear with me, guys. All right. It says, I'm going to try. I am not going to try to swing this in my favor here by leaving out details or sugarcoating anything. I was mean about it. He was crying. I've been with my fiance for seven years and we have been engaged for three years. That's important. Seven That's years. That's important. The seven years together and the and the three years engaged. Why Take are you engaged guys. for three years? Listen, that's what we're gonna find out right now. So we have gone ahead and tried to do a save the date four times now. And every single time his mom convinces him to postpone. It's always a, well, don't you think you have bigger things to worry about? <gasps> Whether it be our living situation, we are renting and she thinks we should buy first because we aren't stable quote unquote or our money situation this was her excuse after we loaned her <gasps> eight thousand so she didn't lose her house but we have plenty of money as my husband and rn and i am a lawyer it's just always something we planned for a family gathering in my mom's backyard she has three acres and a beautiful pond and it's just perfect and we are doing a potluck so very low cost wedding Plus, everyone we know lives within an hour of the location. So only giving a month or two notice is a perfectly acceptable case in ours. With all this said, ma his mom has zero reasons to try and sway us against it. But her newest argument is that we need, quote unquote, to wait until our daughter is at least three so that she can be our flower girl. She is seven months. Well, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Well, in December, my husband and I talked and we decided we wanted to get married in August. I told him, don't let your mom dictate it. And he said he wouldn't and that he was tired of listening to her. Fair enough. But last weekend, my mother and his mother both came for dinner and I was talking to my mom about the dress I wanted to wear as uh, and I wanted uh, I wanted to wear and uh, what I she wanted the matron of honor to wear. My husband's mom asked when we plan to tell her. No, hit my husband's mom asked when we plan to tell her we had decided on a date. And my husband said when we told everyone else, she said, oh, and got quiet and took a leave maybe 20 minutes later. He had already made plans to go over to her house after dinner to help her with her cable box. People still have those. So he left shortly after that to head over to her place while I drank some wine with my mom. Mm -hmm. So here we go. When he got back, he was super quiet, but said he was just tired and went to bed. But last night, he said at random, my mom kind of has a point. Maybe we should wait until we buy a house so our living situation is a bit more stable. Shut up. She's not wrong in saying that it should be something we are worried about. I just went silent. I didn't comment because I was pissed off, mm. girl. I would have too. <laughs> but he kept making comments like, it'll only be a couple of years. Five at most. 
<laughs> on top of the three that she's been already waiting for? Uh, sir. Sir. Uh, sir. Okay. Wait, this is on top of the three? Yes. So eight years of engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, plus they've been together for seven. And they have a kid. And he wants to wait at most five more. Like, you have a kid already. <laughs> like, what the... I mean, at that point, you're 12 years in. That's that's common marriage. That's a common law marriage. Like, at that point, like, what are we doing? Oh, my God. Yeah, so let me finish. Okay, okay, sorry. So, I just took my ring off and handed it to him and said I was no longer interested. He immediately started protesting and trying to put the ring back on my finger, and I wouldn't let him. I said I was no longer interested in marrying him, and maybe he should move back home with mommy, because I know for a fact that that woman will make up another excuse the second we buy the house. And I'm really just turned off at the thought of marrying him at this point. Because I have zero business being with a man who has no backbone and would put our lives on hold in favor of a woman who still wants to scrub his back in the shower. In parenthesis. Literally. As I said, I was mean about it. But to clear it up now. No, he has not said she wants to scrub his back in the shower, <laughs> but she often talks about how she had to help him shower for months when he was 16 because he broke his leg. And Why was she? Anyway, um, as and as the story goes, he told her he didn't want help and she forced it because she's fucking weird. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait, where is the father figure? Listen, sometimes there is and they're in the like non-existent. So, um, and it's even weirder that she still talks about it. Like it was a fond memory to see her 16 year old naked. <laughs> He's crying at this point and I am stupid calm because maybe because I'm over it. And I told him I wanted him to leave or I could leave. But those were the only options. He ended up leaving sobbing the entire time. I do feel bad. I, I do feel bad. I feel gutted. He means everything to me, but I can't do this anymore. Am I the asshole? His mom has been blowing up my phone with texts trying to plead her case, and I just texted back and said, no, it's fine. You won. Now you can have your baby boy back full time and blocked her number. My friends think I'm wildly overreacting. Girl, you need new friends because this is my response. No, come no, on. This one. Ah, you changed it, babe. <laughs> Which one is it? Right here. That's my response. Yeah. That's my response. Look, again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh my God. She needs no friends. Does she overreact? Is she an asshole? Absolutely not to me, but go ahead. In my opinion. Wow. Sorry. I'm still like. <laughs> <laughs> You're still rearing. Like, what? I'm still like, yeah. I'm like. Like, wow. why? Right? So it looks like there's a pattern of behavior from their mom. Right. To always find an excuse. Right. To and prevent them from getting married. Although they have been together for so long and have a child. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how she put up with it even for the first like eight years. Yeah. Like, I think like if I had a kid. Or not, not even that. Like, I mean, seven years and three years of engagement is like really long. Yeah. So like they were together for seven years, you said? And out of, yeah, so I think it's so seven together years for five. and then three years. Of I thought those it was seven. five and three. So it's, uh, let me confirm oh. my notes. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> says uh, my fiance for seven years and we have been engaged for three years. So it's seven years full, three years, uh, three out of seven was. But even even then, like, that's okay. A, that's a long time. Yeah. So like, okay, you're dating for four years. That's fine, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then you're engaged, but I've like, I've never seen an engagement like follow through. Um, if it was that long, I mean, at this point they're not in their twenties, right? Because she's a lawyer, yeah, and right, she's and making thinking, money. She left already did law school, so I'm thinking that she's like late twenties, early thirties. They have a child together. Yeah, He's in our end, they have established careers. They're renting, so what? Not everybody has to own a home. Um, but even if that was the case, they could still work towards that. Why can't they get married? that's what i'm like so and then waiting until the baby is now yeah, the mom. three years old because she's only seven months old well and i she mean can't the, that's the just an girl. excuse for the mom i think yeah, yeah, yeah. you like, know like, i think that's what solidifies yeah like, she's i mean she keeps saying shit. like her mom keeps i mean his mom keeps 
making having another excuse upon another excuse to elongate it right eventually what this is is the mom does not want to lose her son Mm -hmm. right so that's like a mommy like mommy problem yeah but then it's like the fact that the son can't even cut that off is like there's an umbilical cord yeah it's like they need to figure something out yeah i I think what bums me out but bums me out the most is that he told her yeah like i want to do this and no i'm not gonna let my mom dictated and I'm tired of listening to her. And then an evening with his mom changed everything. Like a few hours with his mom fixing the cable box. Like his mom has such influence on him. It's like so toxic. Right. He comes home and he's like serious because now he's like, oh shoot, I got to tell my wife that I have to listen to my mommy now. I don't, or yeah, or his mom is just that convincing. Like, man, no. It's the influence. I'm like, whoa. That I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad for her, but like, I I think yeah. I felt it when she said, you know, like I was so calm because I was done. Yeah, because you know that, like, normally what I'm hearing or what I've heard mm-hmm. is that when you're fully done, mm-hmm. like it's calm, even in like a divorce, right? right? And they say that when you're like go- doing the whole back and forth with your um, spouse or like you right. see your parents going back and forth as a child, that's actually like them trying to mend it somehow. And that's right. why the back and forth happens. Yeah. Like when they actually decide and when it's done, it's really just calm. Right. I think, yeah. I think though that, so I think in relationships for the most part, uh, when, when women leave, not only does it take a long time to get to the point where you're like, okay, uh, like after this, I'm done. Yeah. But I also feel like sometimes it's a very decisive because I, no, right? Like, cause you could break up, like, you know, whatever. And like, sometimes men are like, oh, they leave the house or whatever, mm-hmm. but not really with the intention of like ending it. Right. right. But I feel like sometimes what women will shut off emotionally way before they tell you like okay i'm like literally done right and you'll see signs because they're not trying anymore they're not arguing anymore they're just kind of like going about their life yeah and then it gets to the point where it's like you know mm, and then he's like, how could you be so calm and you're like mm, i'm done i've been done yeah. for, like, for three months now no yeah like yeah. i think i would have been done yeah. i think that would like i can see that as being the last straw yeah like girl needs to get better girlfriends like you yeah. need a better support system like i feel like I feel like as a friend, obviously they have a child and, you know, you kind of you try to weigh that. But I think as a friend, my advice to her would have been like, if if in the event that maybe you do this, like, let's say he follows through eventually three to five years later. I know, but then that's the thing, though, like, even if it did follow through. Right. So that, yeah, like you're still going to be dealing with right. other things that are she has influence on. Exactly. So that's where I would go. Yeah. I would be like, even if he decided to take your side this time or say, okay, let's just wait a year and whatever. Yeah. How much more of this, now that you are married, like legally, right, are you going to put up with? Because he, that's never going to end. Yeah, I feel like eventually they would have gotten divorced. So right. it's better off that she did it during the engagement absolutely yeah i think she made the right choice like not an asshole again no she's definitely (laughs) not an asshole and yeah i don't even think she went overboard when she said to go back to his mommy because i would have been worse i would have been like go fucking suckle your mom's boob right now because i think (laughs) you're like like you're you're still being breastfed if you can't make decisions about your own family yeah the fact like your family that you're growing and you understand how important this is to your wife and you still allow your mother to sway you away, knowing that it's going to have consequences in your relationship. Right. Then, then you are a fucking mommy's boy, and you're still attached. Yeah. And, and, like, and that's disgusting, and is an ick. You're Sorry. not. You're not wearing the pants in the relationship. No, you're still yeah. like. <sighs> this is an awesome segue <laughs> for a show that I'm watching, and I'm fucking hooked. Uh. I got my husband hooked. We have been watching even my my kid. My son is like, what is going on here? Uh, um, to the extent that it's appropriate, um, it's a PG, but still, there's, <laughs> I sometimes the ick is is wild. Oh, right? really? And I'm uh-huh. like, Ugh. Um, so guys, you need to watch. I love a mama's boy. It's on TLC. I'm gonna have to look. You for need it. to fucking yeah. watch that shit. 
It is crazy. <laughs> so this kind of reminds me uh-huh. of that, right? Because the whole thing is like the the theme of the show. Obviously, there are mommy's boys, mm-hmm. right? And like you can, it's crazy how they can switch up, right? So when they're having a conversation, like the wife goes like, hey, listen, like I really need you to do this for mm-hmm. me. Like I understand like your mom, whatever, but like I need you to have my back this yeah. time. And I'm like, yeah, babe. Absolutely, babe. Oh, yeah, of course I got you All back, talk, babe. no action. Mom shows up Shut and they become up. fucking toddlers. I'm like, I my mean, kids. but mom knows best. I mean, but like <gasps> my mom, fuck you. Like, oh I don't God. have the patience, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. These women take that shit so lightly. Yeah. And I'm thinking, I can never. Like, the stereotypical Puerto Rican crazy would come out of me. <laughs> my ancestors would come out through me. Because I'm like, I will not be the third wheel in a relationship. Right. And if you can't show me that I am first, then why am I here? Right. Then go back to mommy. Like, yeah. if that's what you want, like, you just go back to your yeah. mommy. Go back into her uterus. I need a I real know. man. Yeah. No, it's crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. I think it's, and it's also very important because, like, like, you know, in really in relationships, especially like marriage, right? Like, as a son, like you have to be really good at maintaining that line of like respecting your parents, mm-hmm. right? But also like defending or like being there for your family, right? Right. And so I, I I can see where it's like hard. It's a hard dynamic sometimes, but it's like at the end of the day, I feel like it's like. Uh, no, it's like a very thin line, right? Depending on culture, I think also maybe, but but uh, maybe there's but. a way to do it where like no, so there's a way to do it where like you know you can make your own decisions and do it, but mm-hmm. this is a little too much where like yeah. it's you're not even making your own decisions at this point. No, like, because you know? you know what I think yeah. it so. Th- at some point, even when they try to make their own decisions, yeah. they're so easily persuaded either because they're guilted or because they have this idea. A lot of them have like this like really weird codependency that stems from like the mom. Like in one situation, she was like, oh, when he was little, he was sick. I didn't know if he was going to make it, if I was going to lose him. And like he says he feels guilty about that. I'm like, babes, you were a baby. <sighs> Why would the fuck would you carry guilt that's not yours? Yeah. You, it's not like you're like, I'm a toddler, like, Bitch, I might leave this world. Yeah. I'm going to stress but my mom out. But that probably means that, like, in daily living, his mom keeps bringing it up. And so it's, I mean, like, kind of, like, just ingrained it as, like, into I his did, head. Yeah. Like, yeah. my, I made my mom suffer when I was a baby. Like, yeah. that's not your burden to carry, boo. That's, like, PTSD. Yeah. So you like, need a therapist. Yeah. And, 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 like, and I think in one situation, like, one of them is a single mother. Like, the, the, the dad died when he was, like, eight. And, like, he stepped in to be, like... Her, Everything. her husband her, figure. Yeah, yeah. You know what, though? I feel like for single thing, moms, like, that happens a lot, too, I think. It could. But, like, a lot yeah. of them, like, the other ones in the relationship are, they're married. And you're like, but don't you have a husband? Like, <sighs> oh, my God. Like, you have a husband, but you're, like, your bonding with your son goes beyond yeah. just normal bonding. Like, right. I want to be with my child and spend time with them. And it would be nice to maybe, you know, because, you know, my son and I share almost a birthday. Like, maybe, like, we go out. But yeah. I also have to understand that when someone, be- it's involved in his life now, he might right. want to have his birthday right. with someone else. And maybe we could do it another day. Yeah, You yeah, know, like, that's yeah. fine. Of but, course. like, this is, like, no. <laughs> that's it's crazy. your birthday. I want to, bro, in one of the episodes, it was Valentine's Day, and the mom was like, you need to be with me. What? Right. And she was like, but I'm your girlfriend. Valentine's Day is for for boyfriends and girlfriends and, like, relationships. And she was like, no, he's my son. He needs to spend it with me. She doesn't have a husband. She does. Oh, my God, bitch. (laughs) She does. (laughs) Spend Valentine's Day with your husband. It's probably because her husband's not doing it for her. I don't think. That she's, she's like, going to her son. No, yeah. Because her son's doing it for her, but her husband isn't. I think that 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 is is a relationship that they're together. You know when you're, like, where people are together, but they're, like, like connected? Like, we're married by paper, but we're not live as a married couple. Yeah, then figure yourself out. Oh, my God, you need a therapist. Oh, no, it's crazy. (laughs) She needs a therapist. It's crazy. She was like, he's mine. I don't oh want to share my son. Yeah, he's going to have trouble getting married, period. And this is a common thread. Do, do you love me more? <gasps> How is a mom relate love for a son or vice versa? Anything like That's a romantic a love. That's a different type of love. They don't get that. Oh, my God. 
I'm number one. I'm your priority. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no, no. no I, when I tell you, like, sometimes Kelvin's like, you need to stop watching this because you get so agitated. And I was like, oh, that's what God. I love about it because I'm, I'm like, I get so <laughs> agitated. <laughs> but it's it's insane because this reminds me, like, this Am I the Asshole reminds me so much because I feel like, you know, like, a lot of them have been in relationships for, like, three years. Yeah. And they're like, I want to get engaged. But then mom is like, well, you have to make sure that she's the right one. Yeah. Like, you, and all these things, like, he and then he'll tell her, I knew from the moment that I saw you I wanted to be with you I wanted to like marry you I, want, I see myself having a family with you and then his mom is like well you know you just have to make sure because you know you saw I was divorced twice and you have to make sure that she's the right one because he literally just told you he she's the one yeah I know He's just second check second check third check and, but and she, she's just making it nervous for him like yeah so then he gets yeah. really insecure because then his mind starts like, like so oh is happens? she not the one right, like, right. and then yeah. he's like well you know like maybe we should wait and she was like what, what do you mean are you oh backtracking that no it's crazy it's crazy oh my god homeboy just lost the love of his, the, the, the love of his life he almost did oh. one, one, one of them okay. ended up breaking up okay I, I mean and g- girl I hope she's living her best life oh. Kim if you hear me I hope oh. that you are living your best life because because she dodged the freaking bullet uh-huh um with this dude uh-huh but um yeah i don't know man i can't do that i wouldn't be able to do that if, yeah if you have but, a mama's boy God, yeah you but that also God. reminds me of like um a blog or something that i read of like certain like divorce reasons okay and like there was one divorce mm-hmm. where literally the reason was homegirl Got married to this guy. Uh, this this guy oh, was amazing, right? Mm-hmm. They went to the honeymoon, but mm-hmm. he was like insisting I need to bring my mom, and she was like, "That's weird, it but is. maybe she's sick, like or like you know whatever." No. And so then she came, and <laughs> literally she found out the reason why. Oh, it's God. because the mom was still breastfeeding the son <laughs> at thirty. <laughs> <laughs> what? The freaking fudge. How does that even look? How does that even work? I mean, this dude hit puberty and like still feel comfortable sucking on his mom's titty. Like, I, I don't know, thirty year old man sucking on his mom's titty, and that's that that's found out at the honeymoon. That's yeah. an ick. That's such an ick. I'm like, I'm literally yeah. gonna change my flight. I'm going straight to the court yeah. and I'm annulling it. And on the on the reasons for annulment, I'm like, my husband still so <laughs> good in Boston. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be documented somewhere. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's crazy. Yes. I and, remember and I, reading that like, what the freak? <laughs> well, I feel like this show yeah. is a metaphor of men who are still sucking their mother's titties. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. For milk. Like, yeah. I, I was like, you, you need some milk. Yeah. So, <laughs> ladies out there, like, please, like, be careful as to who you're meeting. And as my mama said, don't meet a mama's boy, right? Red flags all in the air. Mm-mm. all in the air <laughs> all in the air all in the air i i can't yeah. i wouldn't be able to like i understand having a positive relationship with mm-hmm. your parents i understand you know when they need you like you, if you have to go and do something for your yeah parents, like that, I get that line of like respecting your parents right. like kind of like taking care of them exactly yeah but i'm also a firm believer that when you start your own family that your family is your priority yes you respect your partner's peace and vice versa and you make decisions as a couple. Yes. You can go to your parents for advice in the event that they've gone through it and be like, hey, do you have, you know, maybe right. make this easier? Do you have any life experience? Fine. But at the end, the final decisions have to be with the partner yes. that you agree with that this is going to affect us together as a couple and not because my mommy said we shouldn't do it. Uh, I'm not going to do it. A hundred percent. And mothers who have sons. Let them please go. Please let them go. Cut please, I beg you. Cut the cord. Yes. It is essential. Yes. It is necessary. Like, that's why I have all, especially with um, mothers who have all only sons. Mm-hmm. Like my aunt, she has two sons. And literally <laughs> this lady she's like she was like oh like you know come come to our house like feeds us and then we'll be there for like after like an hour a couple hours of eating she's like are you guys done now you guys can go home yeah bye. <laughs> like, literally that's what she does to bye. all of us <laughs> yeah. no i mean yeah. yeah i think that there is a 
in these situations, obviously these are or these are extremes. Yeah, these are extremes. And yeah. they need to be psychological evaluations. Yes, happening here because I don't think that the 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 sons in these relationships realize how toxic it is because they think of it as being normal. Right. And they think that this is how things are and they're not. And then in their in with mom there's they're they're definitely not being the parent. They are taking roles in their son's lives that uh, are not their roles to take. Right, right, right. And I think that um that is going to impact because as a mother like me, I have a son and my and I have girls and I, and the same for everybody. I just want them to find someone. I want them to be happy with that person, right? And I want them to be the peace for that person i want them to contribute and be partners with that person right and i sabotaging that because you want to keep them is such a sick concept to me yeah and it's very selfish yes and yeah. it's extremely selfish because then like your kid is going to be alone like you're not going to be there and you now he's handicapped because you did everything for yeah them. and by the time you're dead he's already freaking old right. he can't do nothing he can't make decisions for yeah. himself he'll never have a sense of self yeah a sense of independence and autonomy because he's always referring yes and that's a horrible thing to leave your kid because yeah. god forbid something is to happen to the these women these men will have such a hard time navigating life um and it's it's sad that they these are men that are in their 30s yes and like mid <laughs> late, late 20s and they can't even think of settling down because they're like well my mom has to approve or like my mom this and like m you know my mom has to like her or it's like my mom will say things like i'm one she's one a but i'm one b or yeah. like i'm first and that, like, no, you're not, babes. Yeah. You're not first anymore. Yeah, like, no, no. No. Mm. But well, you guys got to watch that show. Yes. You have to watch that show. And if you're watching the show, leave it in the comments. Yes. Tell me what you think. Yes. Again, it's that I love a mama's boy. It's on TLC. You go watch it in Paramount. There's other places to watch it. Uh, subscriptions on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Um and somebody has to watch it so I can fucking talk about it. I'll watch I it. I talk about it. I watch it with because Ke I watch it with Kelvin uh -huh. and like we talk about it as it's happening, right? Oh, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, oh my yeah. god, and he's laughing and I'm like cracking up, <laughs> right? But like, I need someone that I could also then just continue to talk about. Oh it. yeah. I mean, I'll try my best to watch it. Yes, um, please. Yeah, I might have to subscribe in Paramount. <laughs> Listen, at least until yeah. the season's over. I yeah. think it's like two ninety nine or some shit like that. Oh, it's pretty cheap. It's cheap. Yeah. Um, but um, it's an amazing, entertaining show. Mm. And I, I would say, like, if you guys have another one of those Aidas, right? Yes. Please post it in the comments. The link so we can yeah. discuss it. Absolutely. So that we can put it on our podcast and see what... Yes. Our reactions are, we want to see what your reactions are to the ones that we had today. Yes. Um, you know, I'd like to know what you think. Yes, watch yeah. and watch. watch oh my God, this girl's obsessed because we're gonna talk with about that it. show. I need to do a series on, on talking about this fucking show. Meanwhile, I'm here watching my Korean dramas. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. You need to... No, come go to, watch Queen of Tears. Come to the Netflix. other side. No, come Kim to the Zion. other side. I love you. Wrong <laughs> about the Korean girl. Oh! What? Oh, there's a Korean girl. Oh, now I have to watch it. <laughs> there's a Korean girl in the show. Again, different yeah. cultures. He's okay. Afghani. She's Korean. Uh -huh. She's Korean-American, obviously. She was yes. like, right? And like, oh my God. So she was like, I'm three years in this fucking relationship, right? Wait, wait, wait. Don't ruin it for me. Let me watch it. I'm gonna let you watch I'll it. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. But I'm gonna tell yeah, you something. Yeah. <laughs> you have to tell me if Korean women are really this crazy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think they drove her to madness. Oh, uh, maybe. I'm convinced she uh -huh. snapped. Uh huh. Girl, I feel you because I, I would have probably snapped too. I, I'm gonna been, watch it. Is it wait? Which broken. episode is this? <laughs> this is the first season. How many seasons? Are right there? now, I think we're on two. I think we're on two. Okay, so first season. First season. Okay. They're still, they're still in season two. I don't know how they Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to watch season one. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Yes, and I think we need to do a show to talk about the X okay. that you see. Yeah. And the X that I see. All right. And see if our X match. Okay. Because this is insane. Lee, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's Spoiler do it. alerts. Oh, my God. Yes, I don't care. So get on okay. it. We're telling you now. So yeah. Get the fuck Go on watch it. it. Because we will be spoiling. We will, we will, we will be. 
talking yes. about it because this show is fucking amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining yes, us guys. again. Right? Thank you. Notifications, bells, likes, subscribe, comments, likes, all that. Fucking Tell me stuff. how pretty I am is in, <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> you right didn't hear in the that. Comments, please <laughs> and watch the show. Yes, because we will be talking about it. Queen of Tears? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no. <All right. laughs> Anyways, bye guys. Bye guys. Fun. We'll see you later. See you next time. Mwah.